I'm Manuel Calvo and I'm an independent consultant and I've been involved in the uh, process of improving, promoting and developing in cycling mobility in the city of Seville. You can see the evolution of the cycling network in Seville from 2005 to 2017. They were not really functional back in 2005, little pieces of backtracks. Today, we have uh, 180 kilometers. Before yeah. the infrastructure, you don't have anything. It's like no children, no infrastructure, no women, no men, no no one. No one was by bike. After the infrastructure, you can see everybody using grandfathers, grandmothers, kids, women, everyone. People, especially Paula Garvin and Jose Garcia Cebrián, came into office from a political party, into office in the local government, and what happened is that they pushed their programs to build a whole network of cycling paths and cycling lanes, and they uh, tried to convince the mayor at that point, and they made a poll where they found that 80 or 90 percent of the people agreed at that point with the building of a cycling network. So they convinced the mayor with that data, and from there, they started to invest in this network. The government built very fast and complete a uh, complete network, and the city changed completely because we have a uh, zero percent of the use of the bike in the city, and in few years we go for ten percent. We went from the beginning, where we had no network, to this basic network, covered 80 kilometers all around the city all through the city, so it was comfortable. And that happened in just one and a half years. The, the city is more lovely now with a lot of cyclists and a lot of, of bicycles on the streets. And also it, is, uh, it was a big change in the, in the landscape of the city. When you see the, the, the cycling network is something like a green strip going all around the city. And this is very spectacular. When the government built these networks, there was a lot of voices against the change. But the people start to use the infrastructure, start to use the bike line, and suddenly the bike was a new element. One of the tough choices that we had to make is where to place the bike path. And we decided to go mostly on road space, previous road space. So this is the model that we chose on a sidewalk level because we thought that would give more perceived safety to the people there were they were wanted to cycle. You have a, a sidewalk platform and the bike path is on that platform and this was previous parking spaces. So you can see where the previous sidewalk was just looking at the tree line and there are no parking spaces all along the, uh, the street. So we, we have just the road and the uh, bike path now. Particularly what interested me is how the community responded to the infrastructure that was put on place because essentially you had a culture that were cycling, uh, riding bikes was just not a part of what they did. Nearly zero people, uh, regular people riding bikes to an impressive number of folks riding. As I think the proportion of the total of cyclists which are women is much higher than in other cities because, again, it's because of the segregation of um, the, the bike lanes from the traffic. In Seville, we are very lucky because the 35% the of the cyclists are women. And this is because to ride a bike is something normal. It's something safe, and it's normal to see women in the bike lanes or with the chair in the back, giving a lift for the kids. I think bike sharing uh, initiative here is very important because it's solving a big problem we have here related to where can we park our bikes. A lot of people doesn't have a place in their houses to park a bike, so having a bike sharing station next to their houses, they can use a bike. One of the problems that we have now in the network is that we have so many cyclists that we need to improve the quality, especially on the pieces of the network where we have the most cyclists. We want to double the number of cyclists in just 
three or four years. And that needs for the infrastructure to be improved. Okay, as you can see there, that was the old bike path and the sidewalk. That was an improvement actually, but we're not happy with that because we have many interactions between pedestrians and cyclists. So what we want to do now is just go from there to here, where you can see a wider bike path, a wider buffer with the road, and a wider uh, sidewalk. So this is the, the, the improvement we, have, we want to make all around the bike network right now. Before anything, uh, the sidewalk was just like this narrow, from that wall to here. And, and the space we're on top now used to be the bus lane. So that's from here to the curb, all was taken from road space. Mostly parking, but also traffic lanes. A large proportion of the cyclists here are not actually going anywhere. They're, they're, they're re retired people and they're using the, um, the segregated cycle lanes just to take some daily exercise. We are very, very happy. We, we still see an attitude of happiness to ride b b bicycle in the, on the city. It's good for the health, for the friendship, good for, for all, all things. We use the car in, in a very bad way, I think, for short distances uh, into the city. It's ridiculous. So it was a, a big revolution, and now cycling becomes a, a normal activity. Well, not, not a special clothes, no. Very, very few helmets, mm -hmm. very, very few lycra garments. We did something that no city uh, had done at the moment, especially on the Mediterranean area. That was to build fast and an entire network. The project was the entire network. The city is surrounded by a metropolitan ring and almost the same number of people lives in the metropolitan ring than in the inner city. So, and in the metropolitan ring there is a very weak infrastructure. So we need to expand this model. It means that we have to connect the cycling with public transportation because the distances are, are, are bigger. We have a lot of public parking places for cars. Why don't we think about building public parks for, for bikes? It's normal to see a woman riding a bike in the city, but we would like to see more because it is only 35 in other places uh, in Denmark or in Netherlands they have 50 percent. Why? Because it's completely normal, the infrastructure is completely safe. We have to do more, of course. We have to improve the quality of the network. We have to build more bike paths where some neighborhoods don't still have it. But you know, uh, we are trying to improve a lot and see what happens in the, uh, in the near future.